so after learning the controller we need to learn about the models for MVC pattern we have seen that views we have seen the controllers now it's time for model but what is model and where it is placed as I have told you on the MVC video that models are just a way of connecting through the database that means all your Laravel queries all the queries related to database fetching saving updating whatever type of things you are going to deal with the database are going through with the model so where it is so as I have told you app folder is extremely important so that's why app if you go inside this you will see this user.php actually this is a model so let's open it and see what we have again the namespace our favorite one yeah it's inside app folder that's good but it's extending something we don't have to care about it's having two things protected fillable array which is having name email password and hidden means password remember token what this means firstly the hidden means whenever you are getting something from user table then you will not get password and remember token if you want to hide something just place it inside here and if you are saving something like name email password and everything else then you have to specify what the field you are going to fill when you are mass assignment and what is that we will see in the later episode <clears throat> so I think this model is complicates you what I'm going to do I'm going to delete this or let's keep it here I'm going to create another model but before creating another model as we have discussed that model is going to connect with the database we have to connect our project with the database so we have to go dot in file remember I have told you about that thing so the database name we have given Laravel 55 username is root and password is nothing so that's good let's create that database so open SQL Pro connect to database I will create a new database so Laravel 55 that's good our database is now created so there is a one function or one system in Laravel to create that table actually that's called migration but again we will talk about that later I'm not going to complicate you or we just want to create a table so I will create a table and that name is let's say the table name is my table but here is one thing in Laravel every table name is plural so we have to say my tables okay that's good and inside here we have ID that's very nice but Laravel always want table has to be two important thing called created at that should be timestamp and updated at that should also be timestamp now our table is good to go but how will our level know that we have created table because we have not created table via migration so what I can do create a new model so to create a new model I will open the terminal so open terminal here so I will say here again we have to tell artisan so PHP artisan make but this time I'm not going to say controller because we are going to create a model so I will say PHP artisan make model and now we have to give the model name so here comes the important thing we have named our table my tables so your model name has to be singular of your table name so that should be my table only not tables only my table that's good hit enter and it says model created successfully and let's go to app folder and now you can see my table dot php is created which is extending this model 
Now it's very simple to see the model is looks like. Now you don't have to worry about all these queries because here we are using eloquent queries and again I will explain you what is eloquent in the later episode and now we have to connect this to our table but wait we are on Laravel so our table is my tables and our model is my table that means it's now connected to database table my tables so this is very important you have to give the model name singular and table name as plural we will later see when we go deep inside the model that how we will actually override this that means whatever model is connected to whatever the table doesn't matter so this is the way we can connect our model but now I have to do something I want to add something here I want to just give some data inside this what I'm going to do I'm going to open controller remember controller we have created home controller let's create a function here public function and I will say uh, save only so that means saving data what I'm going to do I'm going to save the data but where I'm going to save the data in my table table okay and now what we have to do actually we have to create a new instance so I will say dollar table is equal to new my table so we have new up the model but we have to include it at the top so I will say use app slash my table that's good okay now what we have to do we have to say table because now we have the instance of this model so arrow ID is equal to let's hard code it to 2 then table arrow save and this is good so now what we have to do and let's return I'm going to return that job is done very nice so what we have given here we have created a function in which we have created a new instance of this model and now because we have the model so this model is connected to this table and we know that table only have one field called ID yeah it has created at and updated at also but we don't have to care about this Laravel automatically update these field and we will see this in just a few minutes so we have ID so I will say dollar table arrow ID is equal to 2 then we have assigned that and we have to save it so then save and then just to get the feedback we have this returning string so as everything is good but we have to create the route for this so I will go to web.php again by pressing control P let's create a new route and here I will say save it doesn't matter what the name you can give I have given the function name and the name as same you can say uh, save data simple whatever you want but here comes the important thing yeah here you have to say the exact same thing so home controller at save so what I have given that whenever I want to go to localhost colon 8000 slash save data then go to home controller and go to this function and whatever I have written just do that so let's open the server php artisan serve that's good let's go to chrome localhost colon 8000 that's good but here I am now saying save data exact the same route we have created hit enter it says job is done yeah this means everything is good so let's go to database refresh this database and you can see congratulations you have saved the first data on your database you can see 2 is here we have given and as I have told you you don't have to care about the created at and updated at because it's done by Laravel that's very good and it's the cool part of Laravel okay so this is the way you can get the data inside your database similarly you can 
get the data from database so I will say a new function function get okay so I will say simple thing let's return my table my table double colon all you don't have to say select everything from table like that it's the eloquent thing and we will go deep dive into the eloquent part but for now just remember this if you want to get everything say all and now if I go to Chrome I will say get simple get yeah it says page not found because we have not created the route so let's create the route so here I will say again let's say get here also get and now I will go and save and you can see our data is here everything which is we have given and this is showing like this because I have downloaded the Chrome extension called JSON view so you can search for this you can say JSON view Chrome and now this first one is good for you so go and just download this to have this kind of view okay after downloading this you will see this type of little circle and if this is not uh, converting this to your JSON just go and just restart the Chrome okay so everything is good for now and this is all about the model but it's not all about we will go deep and see how all these things work so this is the basic part that MVC part the model view and controller and now we will go and check out the documentation and go and learn according to the documentation so don't forget to subscribe on YouTube channel called Bitfumes and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode with some new thing and till then goodbye.